Notice this girl's eyes are blue and her hair is dark brown. Characteristics like these are called traits. As we've seen, traits could be things like eye color and hair color, but they could also mean things like having naturally curly or straight hair, being tall or short, being left-handed or right-handed, and many others. Traits come from our mother and our father through a process called heredity. But how does heredity work? Let's find out. We'll start by looking at a few skin cells. Notice that all the cells have dark patches in the middle. This part of the cell is called the nucleus. The human body contains roughly 40 trillion cells. Mostly all of these, with the exception of mature red blood cells and platelets, contain a nucleus. Let's get a closer look at a diagram of a nucleus. Here is one diagram of a nucleus. At a certain stage in the life of a cell, the nuclei have these structures called chromosomes. Let's take a closer look at a diagram of one of these chromosomes. Here is a drawing representing a chromosome. Chromosomes are made up of very long strands of a material called chromatin. This is coiled up very tightly in order to fit into such a small space. Chromatin is a combination of a variety of proteins and something called DNA. Here we'll consider a very small section of a chromosome and just look at a diagram of its DNA. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, occurs in extremely long chains called strands. Here we see just a very tiny part of a strand of DNA. The shape of DNA is two spirals wound together. It's called a double helix. Here we are looking at a section of a DNA strand. The section of DNA we've shown here represents what we call a gene. A gene is a section of DNA which contains the code or blueprint for making a protein. The code is carried by the order of the colored section shown in the center of the spiral. These are called bases and they're represented by four letters A, T, C, and G. Notice they occur in pairs in the center of the molecule. These are called base pairs. Our diagram represents a gene. However, in reality, genes are very much longer than the diagram suggests. A human gene can contain anywhere from a few hundred to two million base pairs. The base pairs have names that these letters stand for. A stands for a base called adenine. T stands for a base called thymine. C stands for a base called cytosine. And G stands for a base called guanine. If you look carefully at the diagram, you'll notice that the adenine always pairs up with thymine, and cytosine always pairs up with guanine. These pairing rules are always followed by DNA. Remember, we had said that a gene is a section of DNA which contains the code for making a protein. It is the exact order of the base pairs in a gene that gives the cell precise instructions on how to make a particular protein. It has been estimated that the DNA of a human contains roughly 20 million protein coding genes. Half of the genes are inherited from our mother and half are inherited from our father. The set of genes we have is unique to each one of us. Because our genes determine our proteins, the proteins we have in our body are also unique to each of us. Proteins are very important to us. Some of their major functions in the body are building and repairing our body. For example, hair, eyes, skin, and muscles are all made of protein. Our bodies can also use protein as a source of energy. Remember, carbohydrates and fats are also important sources of energy. Enzymes are substances in our body which help chemical reactions take place. Enzymes are all proteins. At any particular time, billions of reactions are taking place in our body. These can include the reactions that are needed for things like digestion of food, cellular respiration, and many more. These reactions do not work properly unless we have the required enzyme for each reaction. Proteins also make hormones, substances which carry important messages throughout our body. Some proteins are also used to transport substances around our body. For example, the protein hemoglobin found in red blood cells carries vital oxygen from our lungs to all of our body cells. 
The traits we have, such as hair color and eye color, are determined by the proteins in our body. And remember, the proteins we have are determined by the thousands of genes we inherited. Those sections of DNA with just the right arrangement of base pairs in the center of the double helix.